Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of Strange and Scary Games. Tonight we've got episode four of Fears to Fathom, uh, Iron Bark Lookout. Uh, I've previously played the other games. Uh, if you haven't seen them yet, I'll leave a, a link to the playlist in the description. Go back in and watch them. Um, yeah. Let's get into this one. Uh, episode playtime, approximately two hours. Uh, let's try it. Fears to Fathom, Episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by a forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself, with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though, since I lived out of my RV and I liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Why does everybody text message me while I'm driving? I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind, keep my memories at bay. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. I almost got hit in a parking lot the other day. I'm very paranoid about driving now. I was on my way to get Chinese food and the parking lot had like a, a V curve in it. So I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Uh, so the, um, the parking lot, you can drive forward or there's a V that splits off. So it goes like off this way and then it comes back this way. Um, and so I was like, uh, driving straight and I looked over and there was a car coming at me this way. Uh, and there are no signs to show like who has the right of way in that situation. So I was slowing down to be like, do I go? Do you go? And as I was doing that, the car just went whoop. And the guy was looking up at the, the signs on the strip mall. So he was not paying any attention to the road. So if I hadn't slowed down to be like, hey, who gets the right of way here? He would have just slammed into me. So that was fun. We should read the text messages, shouldn't we? Uh, 
the new re- this new regional manager is such jerks. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature away from people and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. <laughs> like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me uh, if you need me to talk to Josh. It's definitely the time for a change. Speaking of change, Ironbark? They are staffing me to Ironbark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, heard they got bigger staff cabins and less campers. Call me. With Dad, I'll call you back. How's it looking? Still in my way, Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No. Why? I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. Could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Uh, Mitch Scott. Congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for the change? Just reached to you to tell you that you've been assigned to Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. Thank you. Heard a lot about you from Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. Just got my ID today. Your shift starts out on 12th. Sounds good. I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I have your papers. Just bring your ID. Josh told me the job is not news to you. Can you? I, I just ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Uh, not sure how to answer that. I just enjoy the thrill, or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry, I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are only to leave without notice. Guess they're better off uh, in a cubicle. To be honest with you, I joined Iron Horse last year not knowing what to expect, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. This is where I belong. And I'm sure I'd, I'd adapt just fine to Iron Bark. Good. Uh, I hope you fare better than the last lady. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on a Friday? Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple hours until you reach the tower. Okay, got it, thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. Uh, welcome to the Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. I guess here. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? What can I get for you? Uh, grilled cheese with onion rings. Uh, coffee. Uh, that'll be all. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Sounds good. Appreciate it. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Gross. Why are you all peeing? Why? Why is this in the game? Another fake mirror. All right. Is that covering up a loading screen or something? Why is it in the game? Food. Consuming. I figured it'd been it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Uh, so did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. Uh, is that it? To 
told you, he... This food reminds me. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else, or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh, this food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Wow, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you, send you in a bit? Here's a check. Your total is 660. Hope you enjoy the rest of your ride. Thanks. We just left the RV running that entire time. Should have taken it easy. Eh. Eight oh two PM. I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the other horrors I've seen in these woods. Okay. I drove past the trail at first. Hey there. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. Uh, one of who? May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check that. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. Apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. Can I drive, or do I have to walk? I had to get my bag. I, I have my bag. It, I, it's right here. It's right, it's in my hand. My bag. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need the flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. 
Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If you need B, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile so or so north of your tower. Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. Are you done? I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Oh my god, I have my bag! It's in my hand! What are you doing? I specifically picked up the bag so that we could just go. Is there another bag? I don't see another bag. This is my bag. Let me take my bag. Close the door. Let me go. Thank you. That is a simple item check. Do you have the bag in your hand? Yes. Go. It was a long hike and I was starting to get cold now. Tower Trail. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. That sounds fine to me. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. The cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Oh. Ironbark Fire Department. All lookouts must follow these rules while occupying this tower. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guest in the lookout. System password is Ironbark Tower Number. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting system. Uh, update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Remember to call your sister's station before you sleep. We've got to turn the generator on first. Is the generator up here? Initializing AZC, Rainbow 98, was Lookout Tower 11.
Marion Bark 11. Radio equipment was sitting on the tower. Hello? Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help them you make the most of your computer today. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say, Congratulations! You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we've been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. This is Jacksepticeye, isn't it? The Panoramic Preservation Society requires us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat if you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. I saw that Jacksepticeye was uh, top of the morning, complete watching the employee training video. I saw that Jacksepticeye was thanked in the previous video, but I thought it was just um, uh, like, thank you for playing my game. Thank you for like putting me out there. Uh, but I wonder if he was the um, the voice of Jeffrey in the last game, too. Uh, welcome to the state-of-the-art service reporting software developed by the Ironbark. Yo, guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Who's this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. You're watching? Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. My transfer from Iron House. Experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I recognize this voice too. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Computer lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. Uh, Osborne Firefinder. It's like a giant compass size of a pizza. How do I light a fire though? No firewood. Did you light it up yet? Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. 
Okay, but I, I need wood first. There's no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Oh, I see. Okay. Hands were full. No, let me get you. Better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Right. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. So we report temperature, wind speed, weather, and number of hikers. Nineteen knots. Nineteen. Where's the temperature at? Is there, there a thermometer or? Shouldn't there be like a thermometer just like on the door here? That makes it easier. Uh, toss you. I'm not seeing any. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, temperature is 44.9. Forty four point nine nineteen zero uh what's it like outside?
Uh, cloudy. Wasn't sure if I'd put in the right weather condition. Right here. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower twelve, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, over and out. Port submitted at five twelve two thousand two, eleven thirty two PM. Nothing in the bin. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. Yeah. How does that work? Wow. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? Fascinating. Sir. Sir, there's no need for that language. Sir, calm down. What did you just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. What the f did you just say? Get over here, you piece of sh <laughs> Well then. to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. It reminds me Gross. of my wife. I love my wife. Anyways, a little water there. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my needle. I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is. The basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife. Uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Is like this squirrel stapler? Fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. I, I don't think I like Ron Ross. That was legitimately very cool. Uh, I, I hope to see you do more of that, that kind of stuff in the future. Three twenty six AM.
Connor? I had to pee. On my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a, a strange feeling. Being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. Oh, am I just peeing off the, the thing? I was going to go down and use the porta potty, but. Why? God, this is so gross. All right, shake it out and wash your hands. Are you done? Night two. It's just you and the wind, and the time just melts away. So we've we've eaten a whole lasagna. We've eaten a whole lasagna, we've eaten a whole pizza, and now we're gonna drink an entire cup of coffee. Can I take another picture? Guess not. Hey guys, do you copy? This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Yeet. Tower 11, do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Let me have a look. Smoke was white, indicative of a campfire. Yeah, I see it. Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray if you know the new guy. Over and out. Bear spray. Let me get a... Where am I going? That way. Bear. Eight thirty seven PM. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. No camping. I heart Jen. She gives the best head. Hangman, hangman, hangman. No 
cross star. Uh, hope everything is okay. Reply back when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service. View from my tower. And thanks for the recipe. Might try it tonight. Did we get a recipe? Jack, are you okay? Ah, there's the... There it is. Sorry, I just got home. Uh, pizza pasta bake. Uh, uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Place all ingredients in casserole. Bake at 420 degrees. Bake for 40 minutes. Uh, you'll not believe how easy this one is to throw together. Uh, did you reach yet? Send pics when you do. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything is okay. Reply back when you see this. supposed to be doing something. I had to put it out. Aren't you just supposed to throw sand over it? Isn't like throwing water over it supposed to be a bad somehow? Or is it just better to put it out using the sand? Okay. Why is this, uh, this camping trip? Do I just leave now? Who's there? Show yourself. Area behind the site was closed. Is that all we can do? Can't go any further that way. I guess we just leave now? Seven. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. to report to Connor about the uh, vacant uh, campsite. Uh, toss you there. Toss you there. Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? 
Who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It is a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? What does that have to do with the campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. That's unsettling. You guy, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely not. Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. Alright, winds. Eighteen knots. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to. Pizza pasta bake. Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Nom nom. <laughs> Looking at that photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Uh, at this point, I was starving. I had to get all the ingredients Kayla's recipe asked for. Uncooked pasta. Uh, marinara sauce. Pepperoni and mozzarella cheese. Uh, diced tomatoes. Why is there a can of diced tomatoes? Uh, place all ingredients in casserole. Bake at 420 degrees. Job. Hope they can track them down and give them peace of mind. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. That's the duty I chose. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I was just getting to it. You better get to it. Mitch didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. You got it. Tell you what. I think I'm going to hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Over and out. Uh, it was 18 knots. Yeah, 18 knots. Eighteen knots, forty seven point one.
remember the smell of fresh sizzling cheese. I liked eating in bed. Why? The, the eating sounds are beginning to get a bit uh, obscene. Can I, can I drink it? I just ate like half a, a lasagna. Can I just drink the soda? Guess not. It's getting cold. Thought I'd get wood stove lit. Just remember to that in um, in Daniel Sirachi's chats, uh, one of the mods asked if people chew on ice cream, um, and I was gonna send a video of one of the ice cream experts that used to be on television, but he was making mouth sounds, and I didn't want to subject people to that. A bit closer. There we go. Oh, you can you can do that. Is that like the? It's like the dev signature. Let's go to bed. Two twenty seven AM. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. It sounds like you were awakened by whistling. Can't do anything. There's something very strange about that night. Hi. Yeah, there was something strange about that night. There's a cultist walking around near your tower. What do you mean? There's something very strange that night. There's a guy with a, a hook walking around your bedroom. There's something very strange about that night. He's not going to come in, right?
¿no? What the fuck am I doing here? This seems like a very major escalation from the past games. So he ducks down, he's over there. He walks over there, he walks around there. Jesus. That escalated quickly. That really got out of hand. I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Do you have any idea what time it is? Uh, there's something outside my door. Wait until morning. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. I don't think these are kids messing around. Feels like some real ritual. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. All right, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. Good night, Connor. Connor didn't make any sense. But there's not much else I could have done in the dark. Night three. Next day I woke up not being so, so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it was a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower, or by scanning the densities of the trees around me. Clean your binoculars off. My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for here. There we go. Okay. Now let's just proceed. didn't feel comfortable facing my back to an open door. Hello? Can anyone hear me? 
This is Jack, Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time, and, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. What is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. I'm walking towards shooting. west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map and I'll get back to you. Uh, map. Yes, I'm still here. Trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. Right. So, Tower 11. Was from this way, right? No. So it was from this way. So north is that way, and then this would be west. So Tower 2 uh, came from west. Uh, he was going west. So he should take the right to the trailhead. That's not me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. Was that, I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. Feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on edge. Everything all right? Uh, mention the skull. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. 
Anyway, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. you. Uh, can I put these down anywhere or? It does not seem to be any place that I can put these down. I was too hungry. And we like eating in bed. Um, food was cold. Put, put, put it in there. Put it in there. Okay. Mouth sounds, please. No more pee either. Had to report for the night before preparing for sleep. Uh, fifty seven point three. Twenty four knots. say anything or you just gave me a heart attack I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you uh, what's your name names can be deceiving call me Silas who are you no need to be alarmed I'm a worker I was just doing usual maintenance on the radio tower over there thought I'd say hi the new guy everyone's been ta talking about thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about Nice to meet you. So you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. 
We must ensure that the right messages reach the right places, wouldn't you agree? Right, we rely on information about fire sightings. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. You should head back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. The guy gave out the creepiest vibes. Gasoline, Gasolina. Loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? Guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. <sighs> Is this about yesterday? What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. Its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. No time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. He knew your name? You think he's been listening? List- Listenting? Uh, I don't know. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information, or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Night. Over and out. Over and out. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in these woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. 9.18 p.m. You guy, you got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology, it's not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Check updates. It's two. Update. Uh, 
Seven. Uh, that seems less than promising. Power is out. before going back up. We done? One week later. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check on, on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Uh, Jack? Jack, I need you to wake up. You copy? Jack, you copy? Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? Let me have a look. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Uh... It's over there. Didn't feel safe going downstairs. What? What am I doing? I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Go downstairs.
he's got to leave eventually, right? Uh, let me go. I got drenched in the rain. It's not raining though. Close it. As adrenaline, as adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir-crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Survivor. Survive through the fourth episode. That was Fears to Fathom, episode four. Where's my camera? Um, so uh, I've played through the first four episodes now, so I, I'm starting to see kind of like the cracks in the um, cracks in the the formula. Um, first off, I don't believe that story, so let's just put that out there. Um, I feel like there that the writing in that one was better. Um, the writing in that one was better, uh, but there was the um, 
the one mechanic where like you were looking through the um the binoculars and they were all dirty and you had to clean them off before you could see anything um i didn't see that you can just wipe the the bot binoculars off prompt um i actually had to go look it up and find out that you could do that uh, and that that's what progresses the game uh because in my mind it was just the uh zoom in and and uh zoom out and and look through the binoculars uh it would have been nice if there was like a different font or a different prompt for you to be able to do that um or if just after a couple seconds like you got to see the the um the flares uh that would have been a lot better um the writing was better. There was that one part with the um, the hiker that you're helping out, and he's like, "Hey, I can see you there whistling," and you're like, "Well, I'm I'm not there. Like, I'm in my tower right now." And he's like, "Then who's that?" Um, that was really creepy. Um, it, there was a big escalation from the previous games to this one, where you you go out to look for like who's peeking in my windows, and the guy is just standing there with a a, a hook. Um, so that was that was different um i i really don't like the p sections like i I don't understand why you have several p sections in this game you had two in the previous episode you've got three in this one really not liking the p sections um i I, i'm not a big fan of the um uh what's it uh there's something else that i didn't like uh, the eating, the eating sections. Uh, I'm re- not a really big fan of the eating sections. Uh, it's it's fine if there's like if it happens maybe once an episode. Uh, you sit down, uh, you, you eat the the thing or you sip the thing, uh, and then you go on to the next thing. Um, but in this episode, there was the coffee, uh, and then you had two separate sections where he was eating the casserole, uh, and he makes the mouth sounds, and it's really uncomfortable don't understand why you like those um uh, there, there's those those little things where it's like um quite off-putting um yeah uh i will play through uh episode five woodbury getaway um uh, but i'm starting to see the little cracks in the the system uh i also um in the um in the hitchhike episode, you had that thing where you're in the closet and you can see through the closet. Uh, the closet door is kind of transparent uh, and you can see the guy coming into the, the hotel room to look for you. And then you can see the hotel manager coming in behind him and he bashes him in the face. Um, in this episode, you got into the, um, the porta potty uh, and you can see the guy like uh, come walk past you uh, and then turn around and leave. Um, it might be more effective if those were sound cues. Uh, it is accessible. Uh, I do enjoy that it's accessible. Um, it, you might want to have that as a toggle, like be able to see through the door or not. Um, because for me, like I, w- I would have been more scared um, if I was just depending on the sound cues. Uh, there also wasn't a, a, a text prompt in this one. Um, in the um, the Carson house, there was a text prompt she's not looking at me right now. I, I should run out of the house. There wasn't one of those in this one. Um, so it, it just try to keep it consistent. Um, maybe make it a toggle. If you can see through the door, uh, if you want to have that, you can see through the door. It's totally fine. Uh, I think it might work better as a toggle. Um, try to keep it consistent as the, the text prompt, the, uh, the transparency, um, and the sound cues. Uh, I noticed that there was a new sound cue in this one that wasn't in the previous episodes. Um, I, I, I like the sound cue. Uh, I just think that you should have it like consistent. Uh, if it's going to be an anthology series and they're all supposed to take place kind of in the same universe and they, they're supposed to follow the same rules, try to keep it consistent. Consistency is going to get you really far. Uh, so those are my thoughts for, um, Iron Bark Lookout. Uh, I will be back in the next episode with Woodbury Getaway. Thank you for joining me for another night of Strange and Scary Games. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Good night.